Hey everyone, it's Samuel, the Mexican car wash boy. I haven't made a video in a while, but I was out here on this beautiful Southern California day. With the sun out, we got a nice breeze, perfect weather for detailing. Am I right? I'm blessed here. I hope you guys have been well. I wanted to show you guys for the new people that might need help on how to detail a car like a pro, I have a tip for you today. This video is how to detail rims and tires like a pro. On this vehicle, if you show the people, I am doing a maintenance wash and on, on it is just a basic wash and wax on the outside. This car is actually coated with a ceramic coating so it'll just be uh, maintaining the coating, a uh, very easy wash and also the rims are coated as well so that's actually fairly easy to clean but this process that I do is that I, what I do on all cars and I use the same tools and um, I go in with a little harder more aggressively on the brushing or whatever it might be when it's a more dirty tire or rim so Let's go in, I'll bring you guys in and then we'll get to it. All right, everybody, so now we have the car here, the wheel and the tire. So what I start first, I rinse off the car. Also the wheel wells, I get in there, just rinse it off real good. Like I said, this this wheel is actually coated with a eight year, um, it's rated for marine, uh, for boats and stuff. So it's a real powerful coating. Uh, you could get it at Dallas Paint Coatings, that's dpccoatings.com uh, or if not, if you, have, if you can't find it, just search Dallas Paint Correction, Dallas Paint Coatings on Google and you'll find it. Um, so next, take your sprayer and in here I have a Dark Fury by Superior Products. It's my favorite uh, wheel cleaner because it does most of my wheel cleaning like from dirty wheels and tires to even lightly uh, light dirt on like this one so first I have it in a, in a foamer and I like foaming it up because I get to see where I it just looks better to me and it and the product works better so I also get in there on the wheel wells and then the next step, because these aren't that dirty, I could go in. I don't need to let the product sit very long. So first, I'll go in with my wheel and tire brush. I got this one at O'Reilly. I believe it's a Viking brand, and I like it. And one tip for, uh, for you guys, when you're storing these, make sure to store it like in a bucket. This is my tire cleaning and uh, tire, and this is my tire bucket. Um, I use it just for tires and inside you can see my tools so I store it like this upright when when it's dry and all of the other brushes I store them in a, in a separate bag but I make sure to do that because with this brush you want it to maintain its shape and if you put it in a bag or somewhere where it's up against other tools it might become um, folded like this and you don't want that you want it to remain nice and firm and maintain its shape so we'll go in there Again, this is a maintenance wash on this car. It's already coated and I wash it about every week or maybe every two weeks if I don't have a chance to do it every week. So then I'll do that and then I'll put it down on the ground. I don't put it back in and I'll show you guys why. Then I take my next tool, my lug nut brush, get in the lug nuts and even lightly on the emblem and then the air needle put it on the ground and then this is the brush again i also bought this at o'reilly um you'll find them in the detailing section this is what i use to get into my wheel wells and again light this car isn't that dirty so it's very simple but again the same process on all cars when they're dirty even dirtier than this and then one of my most favorite tools that i currently got is this 
um, microfiber uh, wash mate and it's designed for wheels and it's designed for wheels that have a piano black finish as you guys know nowadays a lot of car manufacturers are putting piano black finishes on the rims and they'll scratch very easily if you use a brush like this although this isn't known to um, scratch very well I still like to use this um, just to make sure it's not scratching at all so I'll go in and I also like it because I can use my fingers to get in there in the nice and in the nice uh in hard to reach places with like a traditional brush or the brush that i just showed you the big one so i get in there there you go no you can even get like that you know use your finger you know so then I'll put this on here. I don't like it touching the ground because I don't want it to scratch. So then after that, we're all done. So when I when I, rent, when I rinse it, I'll take my tools that I use and then I'll rinse them along the tire like this. And then I throw them back in my bucket. And then I'll rinse the whole wheel and the tire. And there we go, you cleaned it like a pro. Uh, the reason I rinsed my tools on the face of the wheels is uh, for two reasons. One, I like to, uh, obviously I don't wanna waste too much water, so I'll point it there, you know? Second, I rinsed my tools because one, they were on the ground, and two, they were dirty from whatever brake dust, grime that was on the wheel so one of the best advice some of the best advice i've gotten in, in detailing is that and in anything um and any other process of like manufacturing or whatever trade you're in um it's better to work clean and organized and you get better results and specifically in detailing if you work clean then you get better results so i don't put my dirty brake dust filled brushes back in the same old water um i've already done three of the this car's tires and wheels and the water in there is just a little cloudy it's not too dirty so that's a good thing um i know i have peace of mind knowing that the rims aren't getting scratched um and when you have a business and you're providing a business um, especially in detailing is to provide the best results and also to maintain the integrity and maintain the appearance of whatever you're working on whether it be paint windows or tires you want to keep that surface looking clean and new and not create any damage as you're cleaning so that's it guys thanks for checking in this video was how to detail wheels like a pro also tires but thanks for watching peace